What's up guys, Maxima here, back with another short video on Cursive Arrows. As you can see, I am about to be level 108. I'm at level 100, 100%. Uh, I don't know how you can get any more than 100%, but I'm there. So I should be leveling any minute. Really going uh, for the max level, which is 120 at the moment. Um, so... I specifically skipped task, skipped and skipped and skipped until I got all Spectral Fiend. So I wound up um, with about 700 Spectral Fiends. <laughs> there it is, level. Let's go ahead and just add that straight string. And fits. Okay, very good. Level 108. Oh yeah, that looks a lot sexier than uh, level 107. Okay. So, the reason that I'm killing Spectral Fiends is because I'm really in the mood for a Spectral Plate body drop. Um, I will take Spectral Plate anything. Um, if you don't know this about me, Spectral Plate body is one of my favorite drops. Give me a moment while I put my cigarette out. Smoking is bad and I do not recommend it at all. But yeah. Spectral armor, any kind of spectral drop, drop is, is really my favorite. I just like the word spectral. I like the way it looks. I like the color of spectral. I think it looks really cool. So, spectral plate body is definitely one of my favorite drops. And I have only gotten like two since I've played this game. Um, and the way the prices are now, um, spectral and phantom is not even worth farming, to be honest. But... I'm a treasure hunter, so I don't do it for the money. Um, I do it for the drops. I love seeing that monster disappear and that rare item sitting there in its place. Um, that's one of the main reasons I'm level 108. It's because I love treasure hunting. Um, it ain't nothing for me to come and just up and kill a thousand ancient cyclops followed by a thousand spectral or phantom fiends just for the hell of it get bored um because i love getting those rare drops um yeah the prices man i could really go on and on about the prices like people we're only shooting ourselves in the foot when we sell spectral plate bodies for two mil i've seen that i've seen phantom plate bodies go for four mil which is is absolutely ridiculous considering if you look at the price it takes to make a golemite plate body Okay, phantom plate body should only be about 10 mil under that, but it's not. It's way, way, way too low. Um, the spectral swords, okay, the phantom swords, I think, should be about 25 mil. Um, I think that the spectral swords should go for about 15 mil. I mean, it only makes sense. I mean, you got all of these guys in town buying and selling spectral swords for 6 mil. Well, I tell you what, how about you come... And you kill ancient cyclops until you get a spectral sword drop, okay? Or a phantom sword drop, okay? Now, after you set and kill thousands of them, maybe you'll have a little bit more respect for the value of a spectral or phantom sword. I don't know. Maybe not. Could be wrong. But yeah, I think the prices on this game are way whacked. Way whacked. I mean, you got the dragon claw and the dragon horn that essentially have the same drop rate. Um, they drop from the same monster and have the same significance. But yet one of them's 13 mil and the other one's essentially worthless. Um, doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Matter of fact, I have got more Dragon Claws drops than I have Dragon Horns. Dummy just saying. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't understand it at all. Um, I would love to see the Spectral Sword price go up. And I've actually seen some attempts. I've seen a lot of people selling Spectral Swords for like... 9 mil, 10 mil, 11 mil, and you know what? Good for them. Good for them. That needs to happen. I mean, like I said, the Spectral and Phantom Swords are one of the hardest items in the game to get to drop, man. I mean, it. you may go through and kill five or 10,000 Ancient Cyclops before you get a sword drop. So when you get that sword, you, you definitely don't want to let it go for a little measly 6 mil. Yeah, I think that's stupid. But again, we shoot ourselves in the foot you know, by trying to hawk something off real quick. So, pretty much the way that the prices on everything, Glacial, Spectral, and Phantom is, I mean, it's it's not worth farming these items if you're 
looking to make money, I definitely would not recommend farming uh, Phantom and Spectral anymore. Um, like I said, I do it because I'm a treasure hunter and I love getting rare items. Um, especially Spectral. I would rather get a Spectral plate body drop than a Phantom plate body drop, just to be real. Absolutely. I mean, if I was poor, then yeah, I would rather get a Phantom plate body drop. I mean, I've been buying Phantom plate bodies in town for four mil. Um, at least, like, every day. I'll see somebody selling one for four mil. And then I'll sell it for six or 6.5. Um, and I'm not even a merchant. Um, I just hate seeing phantom plate body go for four mil i think that's ridiculous i mean just do the math go look at the ingredients to make a golemite plate body do the math add it all up and tell me that a phantom plate body is worth four mil no it's ridiculous man i mean just the drop rate alone i mean a lot of these people a lot of players in this game that are level 60 and 70 that's been playing this game for a while because they don't want to come and kill stuff they just want to sit and buy and resell. Definitely not my style. You'll never see me just sitting all day buying and reselling. I, just, I don't know. I don't. I would rather like level up and become powerful. So that's just me. But anyway, enough of the rant on that. Um. But yeah, I would love to see the prices on things start going back up, man. It's just, it's just ridiculous to get a phantom plate body and go and have trouble selling it for five mil it's just it's ridiculous man but all right guys well my break is over with i gotta get back to work doesn't look like i'm gonna get a spectral plate body it's okay because i still have about 350 400 more spectral things to kill so i got my hopes up really hoping to get a spectral plate body Alright guys, well, that's it for today's video. I'm actually making a video later. It's going to be a very controversial video. Um, it is going to be based on Is Curse Vero's Pay to Win? Uh, my thoughts on that later in the video. I'll probably make that video when I get off work and get home. Um, I've seen Curse Vero's change and there's a few things um, that I've seen uh, recently in this game that definitely suggests that Curse of Eros is pay to win now. Um, but I will elaborate on that and during my elaboration I will use facts. Um, although ultimately it will be my opinion but I will be using um, hardcore facts to support my opinion on that. Um, so yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a wonderful day and stay tuned for the next video. And this is Maxima, over and out.